Hi, my name is Marilyn, and today we'll be unboxing the Aruba Instant On 1930 8-port PoE switch. Aruba 1930 series switches are affordable, easy to deploy, and designed to help your business do more. Let's get straight to unboxing. Here you have your quick start guide and safety compliance and warranty documentation. In a side pocket, you'll find your standard 19-inch rack mount kit. The kit also includes four rubber feet in case you are planning to place this switch on your desk. If you lift the insert, you will find your power cord. Let's have a closer look at the switch. On the front, there's eight 1GB PoE Plus and two 1GB SFP ports. In the bottom left corner, there's a LED mode selector button and a reset button. You will need a pin in order to reach the reset button if you ever need to use it. The top panel and sides are perforated to allow hot air to escape as this switch has no fans. You should keep these unobstructed when the switch is in operation to prevent overheating. At the back here is your power socket. Let me show you how to get started with the config. Connect the power. Now connect one cable to your internet router and the other cable to your laptop. While you're waiting for the switch to boot up, let's go to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Search for the Aruba Instant On app, then download and install it. Open the app and tap on Create an Account. Fill in your email address, choose a password, accept the end user license agreement, and tap on Create Account. Log into your email account to complete the verification process. If you didn't receive an email, check your spam folder or try clicking on the resend link. After verifying your account, you should be able to continue and get started. The first thing to do is to set up a new site and the Aruba Instant On devices we're going to be using. In this example, we will only be setting up the switch. Tap continue. Make sure your switch is connected to the internet before continuing by plugging in your chosen uplink port to your local network. Wait until the cloud LED light is flashing green and amber before you try to discover your device. A serial number is required to complete your device discovery. In this example, we will be using a built-in barcode scanner to enter the switch serial. Tap on search for devices and your switch will be discovered by the Aruba Instant On portal. Tap on add device and you're ready to start configuring your network. Type in your network name, set your country, name your site, then click on activate. Your network is now ready. Let's explore our network by tapping on the site health tile at the very top. Here, we can see that there are no alerts and our switch has been online for the last 11 minutes. Tap on the network icon at the bottom left. Here, you can see the home network that you've set up. You can add more networks by clicking on the plus button on the bottom right corner. Give your network a name and specify a valid VLAN ID. Swiping right from this screen will lead you to the client screen. Here, we can see that our laptop has been connected to the switch for the last 3 minutes. If you look at the application section, it will give us some information on the network throughput. And lastly, let's click on the inventory tile, and here we can see our switch. Tap on the switch name, and you can see the switch details. Let's name our switch and have a look at the settings. Port 1 is connected to our network and it's used to communicate with the Aruba Instant On Cloud, which is indicated by the cloud icon. Our laptop is plugged into port number 2. Click on the back arrow on the top left to get back to inventory, and again to get back to the network summary page. Check out our how-to videos to learn more about how to configure your Aruba Instant On switches. And there you have it. For more information, email aruba.presales at dikadada.com.au or build your own solution using our configurator at instanton.club. Thank you for watching.